Hello guys, hope you're doing well. In this tutorial, I just want to show an exercise that I did some time ago, and it's about um, folded or origami pavilion, um, for which I I worked with meshes uh, just to make some variations and get some smooth and uh, interesting or different results and geometries like that one all right um yeah i just want to show uh, the steps or the logics i follow for achieve these results just let me hide these geometries and display a shaded view so let's go through the definition. Let's make it bigger. I will not explain, I mean, step by step, but I will explain like um, the logics, the main logics and the clue steps I, I follow. So the first step is to get a bench of arches, which is the easiest part of the, the, of the exercise. Uh, we could use uh, a rectangular grid, for example, to get those points. Uh, after that, I, uh, we can pick the middle points and just move them in a Z axis, and we will achieve this bench of arches. We could also use uh, a series component. I mean, this is up to you guys. The next part or the next step is, uh, and the most important one, is the triangulation or the Deluni mesh part, as I call, because I used a Deluni mesh component. The first thing that we have to, to do is to dispatch this uh, bench of arches. So we will have this, uh, this list and this other list, all right? Let me just change this value to even numbers, all right. So yeah, we will divide both lists with the same number of divisions. But the next thing is just to play with a call pattern component. For example, let's go through this list, all right. Uh, what I did is just to play with, as I said before, a call pattern component using zero uh, or false and true just to, um, as you can see, remove the points in the middle. I think it's quite obvious, but I will just turn on this component, mm -hmm. um, that one. So yeah, I just select these points from all these ones and I get this, I just pick these four points, all right? And I do the same operation uh, for the other list, but uh, what I need to do is to invert the order of the list, all right, here, just to select the, just to select the correct uh, distribution of points, all right? When we have all these points, what we should start to do is to triangulate all of them. Uh, we will use a Deluni mesh component, right? But before to do that, we need to deal with some, uh, let's say, a problem of data. It's not really a problem, but it's just a thing of display, uh, data display. So just, uh, I want just to, to explain before that, um, yeah, that the it's important. It's it's really important the number of divisions that we set. As you can see, if I change this slider to uh, let's say odd numbers, we have we will be in some some trouble because for this list we are running off one point here in the base uh, for the other list we should remove all these points all right so 
if you play with uh, odd numbers or even numbers, just make sure that all these uh, steps or operations that we are going to explain right now are correct. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah. So as I said before, we have this configuration of points, this distribution of points. And what I want to do now is just to, I just want to proceed with the triangulations between these two bench of curve uh, points, these two, these two, these two, and so on. Um, but we should take care because once we're, we're right here, we cannot continue with these points, right? So in a way, we should remove this, all these points, okay? And we will make the same, the same operation, but in the other way. I mean, we should pick all these points and triangulate them, pick all these points and triangulate them, these points and do the same, and so on, until we arrive to here, okay? But of course, it will here it will be important to just re remove all these points. So in order to do that, uh, what I did is to play with the same amount of uh, branches. I mean, we have all these ones, all these branches that in this case are 13 branches, but for all the other ones, we have 12 branches. So we need to remove or the first branch or the last branch here. So this is why I used a call index, but in, for example, in this case, I just set an integer as minus one. And for the next operation, I set uh, the integer as zero. All right. After that, I use a tree branch associated or related to this call index in order to, uh, let's say, relate all these points to these points. I wave them and I produce the Daluni mesh component. And we have all these geometries. Um, of course, the second operation is to wave all these points with these other points, right? You can see how we removed this uh, first list of points here. And we produce the, we proceed with the, the Looney Mesh and we have all these geometries, all these triangulations, right? After that, it's up to you if you want to mesh, uh, to produce the, to join both meshes. I did it just because, as I said at the beginning of the video, I just wanted to uh, produce uh, some smooth result by applying some Weaverbird uh, component. In this case, I used a Weaverbird constant quad split subdivision, something like this. Let me show you. All right. Once I have this result, I applied a Weaverbird picture frame to introduce some gap, producing some thicken, and finally I applied a Wilford Scadmore Clark subdivision level 3 in order to get the result. Alright? Fine. I think it's cool. Um, another thing that we could use here is a scaling system because it will produce some variation when it comes to dimensions and final shape. Uh, let me show you. I will just lock the solver and let's reconnect uh, components, inputs and outputs, this scale uh, component. Uh, this geometry should be here, connected to the output of arcs, arches, sorry. The center points are all those ones, all right. Here I applied a graph mapper 
um, related to a remap uh, numbers just to play with dimensions if you don't know about this operation just go and check other tutorials they have in the channel because uh, I mean I use constantly graph mapper so I think you will find this information in other tutorials um, for this range we need to set the number of steps which are of course the extension in y direction so like something like this and uh, finally just connect this output with this input and i think we are done and lock solver and we will have this kind of i don't know like swarm i would say um, let me unhide the mesh preview we could also play with the graph type maybe sign all right i don't know guys it's up to you to explore your, your shape your your geometries um yeah let's go with a busier type all right something that i wanted to to explain you is also that we need to set a good let's say a good the good slider the good amount the good count of extension for y because here if you see if you pay attention you will see that i'm playing also always with even numbers but what about if i change to odd numbers let me well for this we work on clark we have a problem but all right let me disable these components even with these meshes we have some trouble here we have this problem i mean if you play with uh, odd numbers we should we should also uh, check the display of all this data and uh, change in order and uh, change it in order to produce a good result um yeah so just make sure that even if you play with this slider or with this this slider just uh, take in consideration that you will need to check all this data how you are dealing with all this data right this is why i just set my definition uh, to play with even numbers something like that and yep yeah, so this is a result probably we can make some variation when it comes to extension of y whoop 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 we could make it larger or higher mm -hmm. um, yep so i hope you enjoyed Please subscribe to the channel, give us a big like, and see you soon. Take care, bye.